Hey guys, and welcome to hobby vlog number two. Uh, so things have changed a little <laughs> since the last one. Uh, if you can't tell, the Indominus box has doubled. So now I have uh, two lots of everything. Uh, I just couldn't help myself. Uh, the extra eradicators and the blade guard and stuff like that was just too, uh, too good to pass up. And it was at the store, so you know, just bought it. Um, so yeah, I've begun the process of uh, painting the brown and black ink washes. Um, here we go, just in the front. So if you've seen the last little hobby vlog, I talked about this at the end. Um, so this now has the brown and black ink washes over the lead belcher undercoat spray. And uh, yeah, you get a really nice oily metal. Um, now it looks like a little bit brown in this video, but it's not as brown as what it seems here. It's a little bit more silver. Um, but yeah, you can see it looks pretty cool. But once you do your um, final dry brush highlight, which I talked about in the last one, I'll see if I've got it there somewhere. Here we go. So the rune steel. Okay. So once that gets dry brushed over, um, you'll end up with a much more silvery uh, finish. And uh, yeah, it looks really cool. So I'll start on the front row here. You can see, and that's just going to go back and I'm going to start doing it all to all of them. Um, yeah, I'm pretty excited. It's going to be cool. And that will basically, so if you have like two Indominus boxes and like two of the last edition of 8th edition, you can pretty much make quite a few combinations of like 2000 point armies, which is really cool uh, without having to buy anything else. And that saves you a lot of money, uh, except for one of my only gripes of the current range is that Games Workshop does not include Power Fists for anything Primaris. For some reason, they just hate Power Fists on Primaris models. I don't know why, don't know what's going on, but like you just can't get them. So you have to buy Terminator boxes, chop the fists off and put them onto your Marines. So that's what that is. That's like, I think off of a Deathwing old Terminator box. So yeah, kind of sucks, but um, I wish they just release an upgrade pack that has like, you know, three or four of these of each type, you know, power weapon, power fist, thunder hammer, all of that, you know, 60 bucks or something. That'd be, that's in Australian dollars. So I don't know what it'd be in pounds, um, but that'd just be really cool. But anyway, uh, that's a, a story for another time. But yeah, I thought I'd just start off the hobby vlog with this. Um, oh, and before I go, I'm about to start painting this guy. So this is one of my own sculpts. Um, so if you saw the last one or the other video on my channel, you'll see that I did a, um, a Christmas zombie. This is a Zenith or highlight uh, done with a uh, bone color. So, and white, not, um, not just pure white. So you get a lot of yellow. And that's so that I can create a lot of yellows in the subsurface scattering, like the undertones of the skin and, uh, you know, reds and blues and purples and all that. And uh, that'll just give a nice base for the top coats. Um, so I think he's going to be like pallid flesh tones, I think, um, but I haven't decided yet. So this is going to be a free SDL download um, off my blightergods.net uh, slash store website. Um, but I'll talk more about this at a, at a later date. But anyway, I'm going to start painting him. So in this video, you're going to see some of the paintwork on this and what I do with him. Um, but he'll be totally free and he'll be free in January. So there'll be a um, support the artist uh, version. If you want to throw me a few dollars, that's fine. But um, he'll be totally free. And this will be basically like a sample, um, a sample. So you can sort of see the quality of my sculpting and all that. Um, yeah, so he's really cool. I like him a lot. He's sort of a ghoulish kind of character. But yeah, he's going to be fun to paint up. Um, that was done at uh, 50 microns on a Form 2 in a grey resin. But you can see all the details there. Came out pretty cool. If you want to see more of that, just go to my Instagram. The, there should be links and stuff on the page. But um, yeah, that's the beginning of the hobby vlog. And um, I'll be back with more, hopefully. All right, catch you guys. Hey guys, I'm back. Okay, so I've started on the subsurface scattering on this little guy. So here he is. Yeah, he's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, you can just see there. So basically what this is, is washes that have been um, blended in um, over that Zenith or cream uh, base. And so you get a range of color variation there from yellows 
to greens to blue, magenta, purple, um, tons and tons of variation with a little bit of um, actual yellow paint that's been watered down for the these little toxin sacs and the teeth and so on just to put a bit more yellow and if we have a look on the top you can't really tell from this video but there is some maybe on the back here you can see a bit of yellow going on there and that just helps to reinforce like the bone coming through the flesh and so on um, yeah so he's coming on really well so there was magentas and stuff put in under the, the eyelids there uh, you know where the where the blood's coming through and all of this sort of rainbow of color is going to set me up for when I do my first layers of, of paint over the top so I'm going to be going for pop, pop it down there we go and yeah I'll just show you so we've got I think I'm going for some pallid colors so we've got some Cadian flesh and a little bit of corpse pale um, so these are like really pallid kind of colors and that'll probably blend up to a some white here um, but they'll be done in very thin layers and I won't necessarily be um, obliterating all of those little tones and colors that I put into the subsurface scattering there it's gonna stay there so that you'll get all that showing through um, so yeah, the washes I used um, are these guys. I'll just get them up. Sorry if it's out of focus there. Yeah, so I've got some some of this nightshade here, which is like a dark blue, and then we've got uh, some yeah the crimson there and the violet. So those three were the main ones, and um, just doing blends, you know, really watered down. So they're not they're not they're not used straight on. It's like tons of water very very light and just slowly washing that in to build up um, these colors yeah. so you end up with this sort of nice blend so you know uh, cooler tones in shadows like under the ridge there along the top of his head you can see it's a bit more blue and then on the top it's more yellow and so on and so on so yeah you come up really cool um, so I'll come back to you once I've done some layers of the um, of that flesh tone and we'll see how much of that color comes through. Hopefully on this camera you'll be able to see some of that. Um, but yeah, I'll do another video that like showcases this guy once he's done so you'll be able to see the full color then. Um, and But anyway, this is just a short little uh, interlude in the hobby vlog just to show you where I'm at. And um, yeah, I'll be back soon with um, hopefully some layers of skin uh, painted on. Okay, I'll see you soon. Hey guys, all right, I'm back. So I've done a few layers of skin on top of this guy and there we go. So you can see all the colors blended together. Um, yeah, there we go. And you can see I've gone back with some um, purple wash just to deepen the shadows and get like a nice, I suppose, contrast between yellow and purple. He's not totally done yet, but I thought I'd just show you how the skin layers go on and uh, how all that sort of subsurface scattering layers that I put on first, how they sort of come through. And yeah, I think it uh, comes out pretty cool. Well, it's good for like monster flesh anyway. Uh, if you were doing like, I guess, a human or whatever, you might be a little more subtle with those colors. But on something like this, um, yeah, you can uh, go a bit crazy. So I still got to do the teeth and put some reflections uh, in those sacks and the uh, the eyes and everything. But he's pretty close. So yeah, you'll see the final results of him at some point. I'm going to do a little showcase video and uh, show what I've done. So yeah, it's just a bunch of these colors, like I said before. Tons of this and uh, the white and then going back in with the yellows and stuff so I used Baylor Brown there we go and um, a little bit of the what we got here Agrax Earthshade yep and that just helps redefine some of the recesses and some of the areas that are 
going to be a bone color or in this case this toxic fluid or whatever it is in his uh, in his cheeks and yeah so it should come out pretty cool by the end so yeah once I've done those final touches I'll paint the base black uh, maybe dry brush it up a little bit with a bit of gray uh, give him a varnish and maybe do some gloss varnish on those 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 uh, fluid sacks maybe on his eyes around the teeth and then he'll be done and uh, yeah you'll see the final results pretty soon but um, yeah I just thought I'd uh, jump in and show you this little section and yeah haven't done any more on the marines which are all sitting over there um, but I did I don't know what I, whether I showed you these on the last one but I've started doing the highlights there we go so you can see the little silver highlights on the edges so that was dry brushed first and then some little line line edge highlights here, here and there but like I said in the previous video you don't have to go to town on that and it looks pretty cool so it's very fast to do nice oily dark browny black metal and they should come up pretty cool when they're done uh, yeah so that's it and there might be another little section of this video before the end. I'll see how I go. I've got a couple more days before the end of the week. So um, if I don't uh, do any more, there's no more bonus content, then uh, have a great week. And I hope you enjoyed this, this vlog. And I'll see you on the next one. All right. Bye-bye. Hey, guys. All right. I'm back. A little bit of bonus content. So I finally got a chance to work on the people's champ here, Chief Apothecary. Yeah, he's very close to being finished. Got his armor, shoulder pads done, all that. Uh, on the base as well. Poor little guy's dead. But I'm sure that gene seed will get used for some for another scout. <laughs> yeah, and this guy's got some stupid rules in the game, which I think everyone that doesn't play Space Marines probably hates. But uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. So he's coming along. And then finally, I thought I'd just quickly show you this. I've done all of the reflections and the finish work on him. So I'll do a video for this, a showcase video shortly. He'll be um, able for download off the, off the Blood of Gods website, I think on Monday, Australia time, the 4th. So yeah, um, and then he'll be available forever after, after January, during January and after. So yeah, but um, yeah, I'll release a video for him. It should come out on Monday. Uh, if you're on the other side of the world, then I guess it's two days away by the time this video comes out. But um, yeah, he's cool. I like him. Um, prints well. And um, yeah, hopefully you'll enjoy printing him too, and painting him up. He was a lot of fun. Um, so yeah, that's it for this hobby vlog. Uh, I've had a pretty good week, pretty productive. Um, yeah, and, um, hopefully I'll do another one. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, thanks for watching and, uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys later. All right. Bye-bye.